Hi, I'm Doug Stanford, and I am going to talk to you a bit about the Small Rig 1740 base plate. Um, this is kind of a universal-ish sort of base plate. It's listed as being for like the C100, C100 Mark II, C300, FS5, FS7. And really what it is, is just a kind of larger uh, base for you to mount a camera to. It easily holds uh, both the 3 8 and the quarter inch threaded uh, screws um, and has mounting points for, of course, two 15 millimeter rods. Um, I picked this up as part of my kit to just kind of have a uh, whatever camera is thrown at me base plate since I have kind of specific pieces that I bought from my rig, which is an A6300. Um, but, you know, I do a fair bit of renting, so this is something I would use with, uh, you know, like, like the cameras listed, a C100 or uh, an FS7 kind of camera. Uh, a more full body camcorder, but um, not, I wouldn't use this for a red myself because I have the, the red kit from Small, Small Rig as well. Um, overall, I really, really like this thing. I've, uh, you know, I buy a lot of stuff from Small Rig and uh, this piece is no exception to what I'm used to from them, which is a really big solid piece of, of metal that has a, a ton of mounting points on it. Um, and you know does its job which is be solid and hold the camera and hold the hold the rods um a couple of things i did uh that you might want to consider is i always uh replace the thumb screws with manfrotto thumb screws just because uh from the ones i've used manfrotto are the the best combo of uh durability with being really affordable and available um just because it's really easy of course with any thumb screw to sort of strip out the the screw, uh, whatever you might call it, <laughs> the screw slot um, on the back of the thumb screw. Uh, however, you can't, I don't think, uh, the ones I got, you couldn't put in the Manfrotto quarter inch size smaller thumb screw because it, uh, it was a little too tall. So this is the original th uh, small rig thumb screw for the quarter inch and a Manfrotto in the 5 eighths. Um, the ratcheting screws on the side are solid. It is possible to strip them if you wrench them down too tight, literally. I use a wrench sometimes for like my handle set to make sure there's just no slippage. Um, but you know, in all of the stuff I bought from them, that's happened like once, and it was from some really severe wrenching. Uh, and I've used this guy for even other stuff, like mounting it on top of a slider. I have a Canova K3, and I needed to do a shot where I had uh, the camera looking straight down at the, uh, at the ground below it um, doing a, a forward push. So I used this mounted to the top of the Canova slider and put rods out here and used a, another base plate to mount the camera and tripod head about 12 inches in front of the slider. So uh, it worked great for that. So, you know, it's really a versatile piece. The rubber feeding uh, for, the, for the top of this thing are good and, and raised up enough that, you know, you shouldn't see any twisting of your camera body, especially if you're using two thumb screws. So in any case, um, I think this is a great piece, uh, great value, and I really, uh, really recommend it for anybody looking for a solid, universal uh, camera base plate. Thanks for watching. Find me on Vimeo at Vimeo.com slash Doug Stanford, on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Doug Stanford DP, and on Instagram at, at Doug Stanford. You can find all of my professional work and portfolio at DougStanford.com. Follow the channel for more videos like this.